Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits. And for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a Scrape Cats Canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. So in our envelopes this month, we have our six uh, paint colors, very traditional cat colors, um, a white, an orange, a beige, a darker brown, a black, and a gray. Um, you're gonna have six of these very small pipettes, a uh, blank plastic card, if you've got an old business card or some other old cards um, that you wanna do between colors, um, or use with multiple colors, you can pull those out. And this month we are using a nine by 12 canvas panel. I am gonna go with kind of the um, horizontal orientation versus a uh, orientation in the vertical. You could definitely go this way and just do a ton of cats, like a whole layer. Um, for today's purposes and for this one, I'm just going to do um, several larger cats on this bigger. So in addition to what is in the supplies, you may decide you want to pull out some paint brushes uh, to help you add little details. Uh, you will definitely want some paper towels to help clean off. Um, and even if you don't have any paint brushes, you could use like a Q-tip as well to do some detail work. For our paint colors, we have, uh, the majority are these um, Sargent Acrylics, the Spectral Orange, the um, Peach. This is the Burnt Umber, so that darker brown. Their Ivory Black and a gray, although this one probably has a little bit of another gray mixed in there. And finally, a white. Although this isn't an Americana bottle, it is actually a Sargent. This is a refill situation for us here. Uh, so in order to start, I am going to use one of my brushes just to give us a background. We don't really need to paint a background color, um, but I am going to go ahead and use my peach just as a real quick and dirty coverage of the whole canvas to kind of give me my backdrop. If you've done previous canvas projects, uh, you may have some leftover paints of other colors. Maybe you wanna pull those out and do some cats of some very fun um, coloration versus just some basic um, colors like that you got with this time. But of course, as always, what we provide in the kits really should allow you to just complete the project as is without any real worry. Now, because I'm using this uh, peach on this background color, it is really not going to be kind of any of my main cat colors. I am not even really too worried about getting all the way to the edges. Maybe pretty close to the bottom. And this is going to be just about the totality of what I've got in this little small paint cup. Oh, I do kind of like that just all the way to the edges, give almost that little bit of a border look. You also note that my workspace is covered with just some butcher paper, just to count, catch those uh, extra paint drips that come off. So I'll just set that paintbrush aside. You could also, if you've got a craft stick or even um, the end of a pencil or a paintbrush or something like that, uh, use those as um, instead of the pipettes if the pipettes are giving you trouble. Um, so because this is a fairly thin layer, it's pretty close to dry already. Um, I may, if I were you, I might leave this for just a little bit before starting this next step just to really get that good dry background. All right, so I'm going to start with my orange. Squeezing my pipette just a little, I'm going to dip into the paint and let that just kind of suck that paint right up into the pipette. I'm going to go kind of up at the top 
And the shape we are making is kind of up, across, and back up. So that's the shape we're looking for with this paint on the canvas. So I'm gonna come down one, going pretty slow to get this paint out of my pipette. I'm getting some air bubbles in there. I'm not too worried about that. I can kind of go slow and use the tip of the pipette to pull that paint across and then up to the other ear. And I can also use the tip of that pipette to really like break through any little bubbles that are in there. All right, and that is a wonky one, but that is okay. That gives our cat's character. So I'm gonna set my pipette aside. I'll set him up here so he doesn't roll away. And now I want my card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my card kind of at a 45 degree angle, a little bit like that. So I'm not pulling the paint completely off. I wanna just touch the canvas and not really tight. I just wanna grab that paint and start pulling down. It's a very light on the canvas. And I'm just going to keep going all the way down. And so now my card has that little bit of paint on it. I'll get one of my paper towels, kind of clean that off. Let's go for another color. So you have six pipettes, one for each of the colors. And if I go slower as I'm letting this pipette fill, there should be a little bit less um, air in there. So now just gently squeezing, coming across and then back up. Oh, a little bubble in that one. There we go. All right. So there is my gray guy. Taking off my card a little bit more. I'm not too worried if there's a little bit of paint on there, but I can't flip it over. So now I'm going to come and do the same thing. Not really pushing down on the canvas, just gently pulling through the paint. Oh yeah, there's a good cat shape. I just pull that down. If I want to try and keep some of this paint that's left over on the card, I can just kind of scrape it right back into my little paint pot. Clean off the card. Go on to my next color. Right in, okay. Let's do the black over here. I'm not sure I got very much paint in that pipette. All right, let's try this. All right. So if one of the pipettes is fighting you, like I said, we can use just a paintbrush handle and I'm just going to make that same shape with a fair amount of paint here coming up. There we go. Clean that off. And again, my card. And this one, since it's not too much paint, probably isn't gonna pull all the way down, but it'll just add some interest. Oh. And because it's only a little bit of paint, I'm getting that really cool kind of see through some of those other colors coming through, which I definitely love to see because that gives me that visual interest. We've got cats that are multicolored. And we're gonna do the brown. Let's give this guy kind of a lot of paint so he goes all the way down. Such fun sounds with these little pipettes. All right, a little bit more. Come up this way. Can you hear that on the video? All right, and now let's see. He's a little bit wider. Maybe he'll look a little bit more like a Scottish fold. With those ears very much 
down low. There we go. That's awesome. All right. Again, at this point, you may decide to give it a few minutes, step away for a second, let these guys kind of settle so that um, the paint is dry. I am actually going to keep going. Let's do one that's a white cat. And I'm going to put him a little off center. And right under this black cat. Probably could have come up a little closer to that black cat. And let's pull down and see what kind of look we get. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that guy. And he'll have a little bit of color there. All right, let's see. I think we need a little orange guy down here. Get our kittens down in the front. I'm not even wholly cleaning off the white from this one. I'm going to see if I get a little bit of coverage. So right above where, again, right above where my paint is, at at least a 45 degree angle, maybe a little more even, bring them down there. Nice. And now these two guys are pretty close together, so I may decide... Go another little brown guy. And let's put him. Hmm. Let's put a little bitty buddy right here. Yeah. He's gonna be a little skinny cat. Just a little guy. There's a little orange. Maybe that's the orange's tail. Tuck it around, and we definitely need another black one. Let's do him up here. Across. So you can see as I build the layers, if I had gone in the vertical direction, what I could have done. Um, where I could have done so many cats and then just kept them going down almost as like a repeating pattern, which might be a really cool look. And if you've got a ton of paint, you could do in a rainbow, you could do just having it all on there. All right, and actually I'm going to use my Q-tip this time to really get a lot of that black paint on there. We'll give this guy really pointy ears way up there. All right, I'm going to hang on to that because I think I'm going to end up using them here in a second. All right, so our final black cat. Oh, there he is. Look at him. So cool. All right. So for our lighter colors, the orange, the gray, the white, I can really use, like I'm going to use this Q-tip. Do my little kitty cats some eyeballs. Little nose. Little all there. That one might be a little too far. He's got close eyes. This little orange kitten's got some close eyes. Little nose. Let's go up here. Little nose. Awesome. All right. And for our darker colors, I'm going to pull that white in. First, oh, if I had a little bit of pink, I could do some pink on the noses, get a little ears, pull some of our ears in there. Well, he can't have, and even if I don't have a paintbrush, I can use the, um, pipette, the little edge of the pipette to um, add some details. Like maybe this guy needs some orange stripes. He's our little brown and orange stripey kitty. It's a little bit of white, so maybe he gets a white um, mark on the front. 
And since it's fur, I don't have to worry about it being exacting. And as I'm pulling through, you may be able to tell that some of that brown is pulling in. There. A little snowball kitty. And we can do that white dot in the eyes on our lighter kitties. And reverse that on our darker kitties. Give them a little detail to their eyeballs. Oh, our little brown kitty doesn't have a face, but maybe he is turned around. I think I like that. Let's see. I think he needs a little bit more of a, a gray tail coming up the top here. Remember, even if you don't have paintbrushes, there are a ton of tools that you can use to add these little details, things you have around. Um, if we've got can add some paint to the edge of our um, card and use that to add some details to our cats there. It's a little tough to see in the video, I know. Sorry for that. I'll just come back this way. There he is. Detail kitties. Give this guy a little orange nose. Or the peach if we had it. A little bit there and since this guy's kind of not quite to the kitty below him I'm gonna give him just a little bit oh, let's have his tail just be sticking up there I love that I can use the other side of the q-tip to work on this kitty's tail so as always I hope you enjoy giving this project a try and that you'll Send us your your projects.